scene fades in, everyone is kind of having fun and playing. Uh, will everyone who wants to roll a d20 for a perception roll for me? I'll stay out of this one. Since Honey rolled a 17. Okay. Um, Barry Paw got a 17. 17, ooh, all right. Quiver. She got a 13. Grandpa's as a collective got a three. They're not paying attention. All right. So, Honey Butter, you are actually the first to notice some tree branches start rustling. Yeah, I can, um, I can just edit that. So, uh, everyone after kind of playing uh, a few cats, Honey Butter is the first to kind of hear some bushes rustling, followed by Fairy Paw. Um, Honey Butter would look over to Quiverleaf and try to make eye contact, um, or any of the adult cats signaling kind of towards the direction of where she hears the wrestling. Okay, um, I can roll to see if Quiver notices. And I'm actually just gonna roll her die flat. Oh, she gets a six, so she actually immediately okay. looks over and, um, stands up. Barry Paw, are you, would you like to do anything when you hear? Um, yeah, I think she's gonna stand closer, like, more in front of the kits. Okay. Like, just more, like, actively right so you honey butter puts her canine skull in her head just to just to be scary okay and um as you do that a uh a very very small brown kitten just kind of pops out of the bush in front of everybody oh 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 it's so cute She's kind Hi of there, popping to see over the grass, and as soon as she spots everyone, her jaw drops. Whoa! Uh, hello? I haven't seen you around here before. Hi, little kit. What's your name? Uh, uh, my name is Missy. Oh, Missy. Wow, um, why don't you come over here? It's dangerous for a kit to be out alone. Yeah, I I'm I lost my mom. She uh she went across the road and I haven't oh, seen her. Oh, I'm so sorry. Quiverly stands up and is like, "Oh, you No, hopefully we can help you get back to her." Yeah, let's uh we could take her back to the clan for sure. Mm, try to find her mom, maybe send a patrol out or a notice. I can tell Goji Berry too when he gets back. Yeah, great idea. Um, she'll kind of like make a path um, for the little kid. And she's like, "It's okay. These are uh, these are my kid." And she'll e introduce each one. She's this is short kit, thorn kit, dandelion kit, and sprig kit. Weird Hello. names. Thank you. I'm named after my grandpa. I'm also named after my grandpa. Different grandpas. Yeah. But they're both oh. good. You're, yeah. You're what's over your there. name again? Uh, M Missy. M Missy. Missy. I got called that once Missy. when I was in trouble. I named after a oh, flower. Oh, uh, am I in trouble? Are you? What'd you do? What did you do? I don't know. She just sits. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know what I did either. As it's all okay. The kids I'll still be are... your friend if you're in trouble. Like talking amongst themselves, um, you hear a paradict sunny side just running into um, this this group of cats. He's he's just breathing. Hey, I I saw a rogue. Um, uh, um, they were in area. I don't think the kids are safe. While I was patrolling, um, we need to get them out of here. Missy, widen. It it could be my mom. Um. He stares down at the small kit. They did not look like you at all. <laughs> just kind of like, Pegley's like, this oh. child. 
<laughs> she almost Honey like starts would. tearing up. <laughs> it's okay, Missy. Come here. You can come sit. You can come with me. I I I'll take you. I think better would ask. Did okay. this cat look aggressive? Were they coming this way? Yes, they were. They were coming this way. We need to get out of here. Both he goes over. And... We'll stand up and um, grab their each uh, kits respectively. And um, Quiverleaf is 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 wide eyed and looking around and um, thinking about probably grabbing. Honey butter egg. will grab a kit if she's. Okay, so yeah, she can run, maybe if run and grab dandelion. Too. Sunny side would try to get a kit as well. Okay. Um, he's currently hidden under the turtle shell, so I don't think Sunny would know where he is. A quiver was already he going was... over to him to, or specifically cool. him. But yeah. um, oh, to Sprague. Okay. We can roll to see if like Sunny side gets him before Quiver can. Okay. Um. Alright, if you can just roll your dice flat for me. I rolled a four. I rolled a six. Wow, Quiver. Okay, so, <laughs> um, Quiver, she kind of, like, goes to, uh, go under to know where she, she, she was watching. And, um, is kind of, like, taken back when, um, Sunny's side tries to go like before she's like i i got this and and kind of puffs up and very gently um scoops out a spray kit oh. i think he's still asleep so he doesn't struggle at all just knows his mother's got him uh you, you sure i mean like i'm happy to take it i'm a fast runner so like i got you she Ugh. okay all right, you go roll to convince her now. So we're gonna roll each against each other again. Please. I rolled a six. She oh. also got a six again. Okay, so I think we roll right. well, again. against each other again. Yeah, I think okay. they're like okay. Okay, okay. It's the staring contest part two. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is. True. Oh my gosh. She got a three. I got a three. <gasps> okay, well, let's oh, go again. <laughs> You're not even joking. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Four. I got a one. Okay. Oh. So she, oh. at this point, like, Maybe you're not aggressively, like, you know, but you're like, no, no. I, I got him, I got him. And she's like, no, it's okay. But I think um, during this squabble back and forth, everyone else probably has already made their way yeah. running. So it is just Sprig Kit, Quiverleaf, and Sunnyside. Um, as the others run, Quiverleaf is kind of going back and forth with, sunny side over who is going to pick up um, her smallest kit spray kit and uh, while this is going on um, a large very familiar cat to Quiverly comes stalking out and he just like walks right past the plastic bag and he walks pretty much right up to um, the rock or not the rock the, the the shell and is like pretty much he's looking down at spring kit and then his eyes just like dart up at her and he's like I saw you with him cleverly is so shocked to see snake haunt a cat that she hasn't seen in many many moons and it's just just like snake haunt saw who and she's all the while um not moving snake haunt just kind of flexes his claws on the turtle shell and he's just like don't lie to me and he looks down and kind of flicks his wrist towards Spray Kit as if to say, like, I'm not an idiot. 
I think Sprick Kit is kind of stirring at this point, kind of his droopy eyes open to look up at Snake Hawk. <laughs> Who's that? Mom? And he just uh, looks up at her. Sunny side, sweet foot, quiver leaf. I, I can take uh, Spray Kit. Um, let me take him back. I home. thought you didn't want to come back. Quiver leaf is at this point, tears running down her face, and all the while she kind of wraps her arms around her kit. She absolutely does not trust Sunny side. Um, and. She just stands there, or she's she's sitting, and she's like, "I, Goji Berry was there for me after you left, and Ripple Star gave me her blessing for one litter of kids to help with the clan. Snake Haunt, we lost so many cats all at once, including you. I thought you were never coming back." Snake Hunt, however, just with an ice cold stare. Um, he's going to first do a strength check to gently, like, body walk in front of Sunnyside to kind of get closer just to bump him back. And more so just to, like, give him the message to back up and see if he will. Um, so we can roll our flats against yeah. each other. I think okay. Sprig is taking all this in and kind of realizing that. This stranger cat is making his mom upset, and his little ears are kind of pinning to the back of his head, staring at him. Mm -hmm. I rolled a three. I also got a three. So we're gonna say that, like, it's up to you if Sunnyside moves or stands still. He kind of is just like, don't hurt the child, at least. Um, if I can take him back to camp, you can talk to Quiver. He um, nods at Sunnyside, and um, he moves his paw slightly to give him space to grab Spring Kit. No, I'm staying with my mom. He bears his teeth. Honey, you don't want to get in the middle of this. You could get hurt. I'm not leaving my mom alone. You should go back with the siblings. Why is your voice different? <laughs> he just looks straight at Sunnyside. This is my real voice, honey. Listen, your mom doesn't want you to get hurt. Honey, I think he's right. She's like, at this point, like, ter um, terrified and is like, please, spring kit. I need you to go home. And she um, licks his ear and just kind of whispers. I will roll to see if they Just heard, little... but yeah. yeah. Okay. So wait, uh, with the twenty roll... school or with a flip coin, one or two. Um, Quiver rolled a one, so we can see on their end. I can try to okay. with a. I rolled a three. <laughs> Sorry. Nick actually also rolled a one, so I'm gonna say he is literally so preoccupied. Like he is like. Okay. Looking at Quiver, he doesn't hear. Maybe Sunnyside does. Sprig yeah, a Sunnyside is, roll of three. It's up to you if you. Okay. Sprig's eyes kind of widen, um, and he just takes his little flower off his head and hands it to his mom. Be brave. And then he waddles over to Sunnyside. Um, let's get you home, little buddy. Um, and he gets in, in his mouth, and he looks at Snake Haunt, like, like, gives him a look of, like, you're gonna, don't kill her, like, gives the look of, like, it's not worth it to kill over this. <laughs> Snake Haunt doesn't respond to him, and is, like, uh, pinned on Quiverly, and is just, like, maybe if he even flicks his tail, like, you can go. Make sure this goes civil, Snake Haunt. And then he turns around and starts heading back to camp. Alright. So he kind of carefully gets Sprig Kit out. And um, with that, Snake Haunt 
kind of just chuckles and is like, what was I to you? And she kind of just like flexes her claws a little bit, but then retracts them and shakes her head and kind of tries to stand up and almost nuzzle him to say like, please, this isn't who you are. We can talk about this. It really doesn't have to be this way. But he just um, will shake his head and, and scream again, what was I to you? And they will start initiative with each other. As Snake Haunt screams, what was I to you? Both cats immediately leap at each other in an aggressive fashion, and I will have Plushy roll for both cats in initiative. Yes, okay. I think Quiver is a little more startled, taking more of a defensive, um, whereas Snake Haunt is kind of like... Um, both of his paws are on the shell and he's leaning over and he kind of is just like going as if to like just bite her neck like right away. Um, so Quiver, for initiative, she did roll with one. Snake on rolls a two. Do they fumble on the shell? What does that mean? Oh. What is a one and a two? So I think they're kind of both shocked that they're really doing this and yeah. they are definitely like this is happening we can't end this any other way but they're they have a lot of history together and realizing that this is the road they're going down they're kind of both afraid strangely for each other but I think willing to take this fight on um snake hunt will actually and I think they... sorry like with yeah. that, isn't he legally one? Just kind of like rub up against her neck, maybe, and be like, you know, how could you pick him over me? And uh, then would we roll again for a Quiver to try to flee or attack? Uh, yeah, we'll roll for Quiver next. Okay. Oh, if this is for initiative. Yeah. I so see. Snake got a two and Quiver got a run. So it was her so turn first. It is snake turn, Snake's turn. It is his first did. first. Because yeah. He, uh, gotta, gotta, gotta. Cool, it's yes. So it's for his, his turn. Yeah. turn, he won't attack specifically um, because I think of this weird mm -hmm. and he will just kind of like rub up against her and was just like, you know, how, how could you choose him over me? But he's like over her very much like if she were to try to run. He, like his claws are out. Uh, but that's okay. his turn. And... Yeah, so we got Quiver, of course. How does she react to that? Quiver's gonna try to push him off with her claws out, so she's gonna try to attack. Okay, go ahead, um, roll your d6, and Snake will also roll to defend that. Okay. I have two d6s, and that green one will be for Quiver. She rolls a four. He rolls a four as well. So maybe he can Okay, it goes to the defender, okay. so... She goes to claw him, and he nearly just kind of flinches away, and now uh, there's a bit more anger in Snake Haunt's eyes as he kind of sees that she's not willing to come back to him. Okay. I actually she's think he'll take a step backwards and um, just kind of, like, scoff, but maybe Quiver isn't... She's very upset, um, and mm -hmm. is it... It's his turn now? Yeah, it's back okay. to him. So, he is just kind of, for um, this turn, just kind of kind of like, take like he's like, walking away and just kind of look back and was like, you'll just be like, a dumb memory to me. And he says, and uh, Quiver will, I think actually, take a step forward. Um, aggressively to attack but he just kind of turns back and is like oh like you you want to follow me and um depending on whose turn it is because i'm bad at keeping up they're going to fight again i just want to move snake's turn you snake. haven't taken your action Her. Yeah. okay then yeah he will um if, as she kind of moves forward um he he turns and immediately goes to attack again so his okay flat is a five and hers is a six. 
Okay, so he kind of turns to claw and uh, quivers, expecting this, and uh, flinches away. Okay. Uh, this is now... They've both made moves to attack each other, so... Yeah. This is now fully combat, and uh, now it's Quiver's turn. Alright, she is just holding her ground, and she's like, I'm not scared of you, Snake Hunt. I know who your father is, and I know who you are trying to be, but this this, this isn't you, and it's... I'm not scared. And, uh... Alright, so it's, it's um, Quiver's turn? Mm-hmm. Okay. She is going to... Roll to, like, start backing up. So technically it's fleeing, but she's not turning. Um, so she will okay. roll. She will only roll a two, and he rolled a four. So he would definitely stop her oh. and grab her. Or... Alright. So, he is he going for, like, a grapple then? Since she's trying to get away. Uh, and yeah. He... I think he would reach out roll. and, like, with one and just try to grab and pull her closer to him. And so, um, okay. would I add his attack to his roll, his four? Um, Or do yes. I roll again for that? If you if he's wanting to do damage, sure, yes. yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, he's mm -hmm. doing damage. He's then just roll like, plus your attack. You're not leaving again. Like, you're not leaving me again. Um, so I roll the dice again, and then I add the attack? Mm hmm Okay. Okay. <sighs> so, um, he rolled a six. And, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, two, eight, six. He does 11 damage. He just grabs her and yanks her closer. Gosh, okay. And she just kind of uh, looks at a screen. No, it's back to tries him to... again. Ah, I see. All right. He rolls another six. Quiver rolls a five. Okay, so... Now that he's got Quiver pinned, Snake Hot has the opportunity to bite and claw again, however he pleases. Yeah. Um, Quiver is currently pinned. With the six, he is going to just use his full attack again and just kind of keep her, um, like, shoving her into the ground. Okay. So roll your dice plus attack. Okay. Ooh, that's only a six total. Okay. And then it's Quiver's turn. Okay. So she's gonna she's try gonna to roll. Flee. She got a six. Okay. He got a four. Okay, so she definitely is able to wriggle free from his grip. Um and then that counts as her whole yeah, turn. Yeah, that's right? your turn. Okay. I think it would just yeah. She's kind of on the uh, offensive now, the like defensive. His... She's like standing there looking yeah. at him, puffed okay. up, bloody now. Her like neck and um, like chest area, but she's like preparing herself. And that was her turn. So now okay. it's his turn. Okay. Yeah, it's now snakes. Six. And a six again. It goes to the defender. So this time. Uh, she's kind of getting Snake Hunt's pattern, and she easily kind of swats him away as he goes for another grab, um, at her. She'll just uh, kind of call out, maybe, and say, We train together, I know every step. It doesn't have to be this way, you can just leave and accept that I've moved on. Uh, but Snake Hunt just, like, hisses. But it's her turn, okay. Quiver's right. It is now to her turn, yep. Okay. She's gonna try to, like, actually flee run again. Okay. Alright. Roll, and then Snake's gonna roll to grapple her again, I'm guessing? Yeah, she got a one, he got a four. Okay. Okay, so he definitely grapples her again. Um... Probably using the shell, she probably just stumbles into it. She's trying to run back to camp, and he can do. Um, it's back to his turn, so he okay. can do another attack. Yeah. So he got a five, plus his attack five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then he's also gonna use one of his items. Um, he did actually... um, oh. whoever defend against it. Oh. Uh, yeah. From 
Oh, so she just didn't get so away it's... from his last one. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Yeah, he got so a five. It's now back to his turn. She got a two. So. Okay, so now you can do the two. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, he is going to um, pull one of the, like, pieces of, uh, I guess it's probably metal from his collar that was already kind of busted. And he holds it in his mouth and he just uh, stabs it into her chest and is just Brush. screaming that she broke his heart and betrayed him and uh, yeah, so his full damage would be equal to five, plus his attack, that's five, and the collar that does is a 15. Okay. It's now um, Quiver's turn. She can make an attempt to escape or just bite back mm -hmm. in a frenzy, whatever she feels what she wants to do. Okay. Um, so she is going to try. She probably, in order to heal herself, has to be out of his grip. So mm -hmm. she's going to try, um, even though she has just been stabbed in the chest, um, try to get out of his grip so she can um, grab the uh, leaves that are always behind her ear and they have healing properties. Mm -hmm. But first we'll see if she gets out of her uh, grip. She rolls a six. At this point, okay. Um, that would be five. an five. So it's very yeah, close. Yeah, so she, I think she would get away just okay. because it is higher and I think her adrenaline is now kicking in that mm -hmm. She knows he's not going to stop unless she defends herself, so yeah. uh, I'll count that round as you Got it. quiver getting out. Um, and then, yeah, it's back to Snake. Alright, he rolls a four. She rolls a three. So I think he just kind of, maybe yeah. while she's trying to get out, just goes and claws at her, her face. I roll again for damage. That's a four plus five. Nine. Okay. Uh, it is now Quiver's turn if he wants to with his ability. Um, yes. His, uh... Yes. Or no, it's a Quiver's like, turn. Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Hold on. Um, okay. Quiver, thank you. Um, I was like, nope, I know we were doing something. Okay, so, uh, Quiver, um, will... She rolled successfully or is rolling now to try to... No, she actually, I think... It's now her turn. It's now so her she's... turn. She just got slashed in the face. Yeah. Um, she's stumbling back, and she is trying desperately, um, to grab the herbs out from behind her ear. Mm -hmm. She rolled a five. So, I think... Okay, so she I... heals herself five? Uh, I add that to her healing, which is three. So five, six, seven, eight. So she heal heals herself. Cool. Um, All right. And but she's already used hers one for sprig. So this is their only. Yeah, so she's now out of healing. She's out of healing. She's back to okay. Okay, it is now back to snake haunt. Um. All right. He's gonna take the opportunity while she's. Uh, using the leaves to kind of wipe the blood um, out of her face and her eyes so she can see. Um, and he gets a six. She gets Kay. a two. Alright, roll damage, sneak hop. Oh, that I fell on my lap. Four. Um, nine. Okay. So while she's um, wiper her face, I think he just takes the opportunity to launch and kind of pin mm -hmm. her body up against the shell to the side and just kind of like hold her down there. All right, uh, and it's back to her turn. So okay, she's gonna Mind just to escape this again, point, defending, swiping. Yeah, she's gonna. Um, she yeah. is like okay. panicked, can't see, and is is just swiping at him. Um, she rolls a five. Okay. He rolls a six. What did snake? Oh no, baby girl. Okay. Uh, so that's um, 
it'll go back to snake haunt mm -hmm. then okay so they're just going back and forth you got a two she also got a two so it goes to the defender so she's fine okay all right roll for quiver all right she's trying to attack him okay. two he is rolling to move out of the way he got a three Okay, so he manages to just push her claws back um, against the ground again, and it's another standoff. Um, okay. And now, oh, gosh, okay. it's his turn. It counts turn. Okay. Three. What quiver roll? Five. Okay, so she is kind of. It is full adrenaline mode. She yep. is fighting for her life she's and thinking of uh, her children. She's continuing to defend. She rolled a uh, three, staying alive. But her attack is seven, so she does seven, eight, ten attack, ten damage on Snake Hunt, and she says, "Get off of me." Okay. Okay. Right. So it, I think it's just a straight claw attack to his face and he kind of lurches back mm -hmm. and it's his turn again yeah um i actually think he probably would stay still at this point he's not gonna move off of her he's he'll take the hit for sure okay. um but yeah. He, yeah he's not he's not moving he just kind of is like uh <laughs> like chuckling um as he so oh, that was sideways he got a six she got a three so uh he just okay, immediately um, gets her back. Uh, his is five, so I roll again for damage. It's four, nine. Okay. He just um, and in this moment is is going to say, um, "You chose to be with him. You could have waited for me. You could have came and looked for me. Nobody cared. Nobody asked." Goose juice, why he left me there. Everyone just left me there. And if this is what I have to do to get people to realize that I'm here and that I matter, then fine. And then he just slashes into her. Okay, um, it's Quiver's turn. Is she trying to run again, or is she still just trying to fight back? She doesn't have any heals, and, um... She does not. I think she is going to uh, scream for help and attack at the same time. Um, like, okay. he can't. She knows that she's probably not going to push him off, so uh, she's just frantic. Um, she rolls a four. He rolls a four, too. So she, she's mostly just trying to scream for it help. goes to the defender, so okay. it's still a standoff. Snake Con is blocking her hits, but it's still they're locked uh, okay. in battle. Next to Snake Hot. Alright. He, um, is, like, his fur just kind of bristles as he worries, um, about, he thinks about Ripple Chest and what, how she was to him as a kid and naming him Snake Kick as his father and if she comes or if Goji or a Goose or and how he would just want to attack any of them and, um, so he, he doesn't even try to stop her from screaming, if anything. He's just gonna, like, try to sink his claws in to make her scream louder. Um, got a five. She got a one. Roll your damage. Okay. Three. Eight. Okay. Uh, next is Quiver. Alright, um, she at this point is just, like, sobbing, and is just, like, please, Snake Hunt, like, I know that this isn't going to make you feel any better, that I have kids, but I really don't want them to be without a mom like I was. And she will roll, she gets a two. He also gets a two. Goes to the defender, defender again. Sneak Hunt is. He kind of listens to those words and is still holding her down, but mm -hmm. see if he listens. It's back to the Snake Hunt. Alright. She 
she also rose a five. So, um... Goes to the defender. I Quiver think, is still Yeah, he's standing. holding her down. Um, and if anything, just, like, listening and, like, kind of looking around. Okay. Uh, it is Quiver again. Alright, she's going to try to attack. With a one! Go, Quiver, go! Oh. Oh, Quiver. Oh, no. That would be an automatic fail on yeah. her end, yep. So, he's still just holding her down. It's back to Snake. Oh, he rolled a six. She rolled a four. Can she make a six? No. Oh, no. alright, roll your damage. Another six. Um... Eleven. He's just like sinking his paws deeper. Okay. Quiver, you are looking real bad right now. Um, your son Sprig Kit's voice is ringing in your head, telling you to be brave as you are making your near final attempts to get out of this situation. Her turn. It is. Okay. She'll be two. And he rolls a four. I think she would be trying to like drag herself out from in between the shell and her attacker, but is probably very weak at this point. They can't. You have a turn. Right. He gets a four. She gets a two. Um, he just kind of like watches her drag herself for a little bit uh, before just kind of standing over her like a shadow and just is like, I really wish it didn't happen. If only one person out there cared for me. I thought you did. I thought out of all the cats you would have come looking for me. But no one did. And um, with that, he's going to attack. Two, seven. Seven? Mm hmm. Did. That's Quiver defending? No, that was his attack. She, he rolled a um, four, and then she rolled a two, so she lost, and she okay, was trying okay. to crawl away. But he seven? let her for a little. Uh huh. Yeah. It was seven. okay. As he raises his claw, Quiver, you look up and you feel like this is it. Do you I have think any last she words? Would, um, start praying and um, hope that they would give her a second chance. And she's just absolutely praying that someone will come help her. And uh, that's, that's all the. She doesn't say anything to him. She's just won't even, like, reward him with a response. Snake Haunt, your claws dig into what once was the love of your life, and she falls still. You were part of a clan, and you know that celestial cats will sometimes grant opportunities for their cats to have a second chance. Do you stay, or do you leave? He would stay. He's waiting. If anything, I actually think that um, he will go and wait behind the log. Okay. Whether or not she comes back. Quiver, you begin to kind of shudder awake after that emotional experience um, and 
cresting over the hill are Goji Berry and your two fathers, one and in-law, Berry Thorn and Short Branch. They all rush down, spotting you immediately. What happened? Are you okay? Goji Berry kind of looks over you in panic. Um, she, her eyes just are kind of flickering. He's, he's still here. She just is all she can kind of manage to breathe as her eyes kind of flutter from exhaustion. She's like, okay. And um, her father, Short Branch, actually will um, immediately kind of bend down and be like, um, uh, I can, I can take her to camp. Oh, I, she, oh. Okay. He nuzzles uh, Quiverleaf briefly before looking around the clearing, and he's going to use his ability Analyze, which gives him a plus five to his perception rolls. So. Okay, because Snake is definitely uh, Snake. Snake, go ahead and roll stealth. Yep. So he rolls his dice flat. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, yeah. I rolled two. a four. Snake rolls a two and. Goji Berry ended up getting a 10 with his uh, Analyze ah. ability, though he immediately spots Snake. What are you doing here? Snake Hot just like puffs up his fur and it kind of looks like a like a cobra snake. Um, kind of, you know, his namesake and he just hisses and he goes, you obviously saw why I was here. Relief? Why her? He doesn't. If it's his turn, he's gonna try to attack, or if it's time to roll initiative. Yeah. Okay. It's time to roll initiative, so. I think he's like got up on top. Barry Thorn will also participate in this initiative, which right. is being played by Joe right now. Um, okay. Mr. Goji. Goji got. Are we adding attack or just rolling flat? Just roll flat and it's a d20. Okay. Oh, oh d20? Oh, yep. 13. Goji got 15. What did I Barry for him get? 18. No! Okay! okay. <laughs> no! Hold no! On, on, that on, ruins on, my whole- Oh, snake. Dang it. Okay. <laughs> he thought- He had he an really old thought. man! <laughs> had it an old man. He still got moves. I don't know! I don't know. Uh, he got them. One well. of Snake Hunt's abilities is only if he's in okay. the top two initiative, and somehow within three cats, he didn't <laughs> get the top two initiative. Okay, so very thorn. You see Snake Hunt immediately start lunging through towards your son. What do you do? I'm not gonna let that. I'm gonna. I'm, not gonna let I'm that not old. Yeah. I know I'm old. <laughs> but he protect his son. That's all yeah, I have yeah, to yeah. say. Of course, of course. He goes, so go ahead and roll your attack. Yeah, it's not gonna be great. Call, but you can three. defend against the old man. Three. You rolled a three and then you added your attack, or that's total. Oh no, that's total three. <laughs> oh wait, what? So what did you roll? Wait, no, sorry, sorry, no, no, just uh, rolled flat. Okay, but your attack is three. So no, yeah. Plus I was, so plus, you plus roll a d four. Yeah, or a d, yeah, d four. So that's six. Yes. Well, Do it's I flat add attack? So he's rolling flat to hit. So that's oh, flat to hit. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Yeah. And then you're rolling yeah. to defend. What does Snake Hunt get? Got it. Got it. Snake Hunt three. Okay. Well, it goes to the defender. So that's okay. you, you do swat him, and it keeps him back. But he's you, startled, you and uh, yeah, he kind of stops on the log instead of like launching. He goes. Not all of Don't us even bring say our dads what you to, to the say. fight. He just growls. You have no right saying anything after what you did to her, and he is going to launch. Roll to defend yourself, Snake. Six. Good roll. Oh. What did he get? Six. You oh. rolled an eight. <laughs> <gasps> Deputy! Oh, oh, oh. Yes, Deputy! So he's gonna roll his damage, Deputy. and he is also Deputy. gonna add his rabbit blood and his fox tooth to this action. Oh. So, I think it's one per one item per action. One per damage? Okay, he'll look, use his yeah, blood. Yeah, just pick first. whichever one first. Cool. 
Okay. okay, just let me know the total. Ugh. <laughs> That's yes, my uh, 14 damage to Mr. Snakehawk. Right. Dang. Ow. <laughs> Do you drag him off the log or is you just hit him on the log? I think he goes for just a solid blow to the neck and yeah. drags him off the log and just like holds him there. Got it. Sinking his teeth into his neck. Okay. It's his snake's turn it's now? It's finally Snake Hunt's oh, turn. Okay. Snake is rolling to attack. Four. Okay. I got a five. Two! Sorry. One. Don't <laughs> um, uh, so I think he's just kind of pulling away from uh, Snake's frantic swipes to the air mm -hmm. as he's trying to get Goji off of him. And it is back to Berrythorn. I think you yeah, should be startled buddy. about how much stronger um, his once apprentice friend is mm -hmm. now as deputy. All right, he's gonna attack Snake Con. Woo! In the face. Four. All right, defending, but was he at disadvantage because he's pinned? I mean, oh. uh, that's Max. So. Yeah. Oh wait, no! Wait, wait, Snake Hunt. When I'm rolling to defend myself, like, oh, it's it's nice if I didn't make an active action to pin you. I've just like got my oh, bite okay. on you. So yeah, I if it's like a six, grapple, grapple. Then yeah. against um, okay, your father. So you're still writhing. Briathorn's trying to get an attack in, but he's Darn Goji Bear is kind of still in the way. Um, and then I'll go back to Goji. He's gonna roll to continue clawing. Uh, Snake Hunt, and as he does this, he just growls around Snake Hunt's neck for, Did you make her beg? To Answer me! He, he, uh... He doesn't respond. He just claws into him. How much damage? I rolled a three. Okay. Some hit. He rolled a two. Okay. Oh. Damage time. time. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna add my uh, fox tooth to that, which adds an attack, but it's just three damage. Okay. So. Uh, so is the total number? Uh, three damage. It's just three. I rolled low. Um, okay. And now it is Snake Hunt's turn. He's, uh, he has the option to run away or He's attack. trying to get out at this point. He's trying okay. to, like, if anything, he can even, like, try to slip out of his collar if he needs to. Um, but he is going to roll. He only got a three. Goji's gonna try to keep a hold on him. And he rolled a seven. Ah. Uh, so, yeah, Snake is not going anywhere. He's still writhing and trying to kick Goji off, but he is holding firm just out of pure anger. Uh, and it is back to Berrythorn. My turn. Gonna attack again. Woo! Hit him. I rolled Hit a him. one. Oh no! <laughs> he only got a two, but... Oh yeah. no! That's cool enough. Berrythorn's kind of stumbling. He's kind of like kinda thinking poking. about it. And he's like, where am I? I don't know. I'm an old man. Yeah, so he's kind of just poking at Fake no Hall at this it. point. And he's just poking. Yeah. He's trying to it's hit him, but... Yeah. Trying his best. He's an elder. Give him a... It's okay. Give him a break. Yeah, give him he's, a break. He's okay. a distraction. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Next is Goji. Gonna roll to attack again. Ooh, that's low. It's a three. Uh, five. <laughs> oh, so I think Goji's kind of faltering a little bit as mm -hmm. Snake is kind of... Like a writhing snake getting out of his grip slowly yeah. but surely. Um, and he misses his uh, trying to get a deeper hold on his neck. Okay. Uh, next, they call. Alright, so with that, uh, he is going to roll to um, kind If he manages to attack, he kind of wants to like claw and like back up or like roll out, but let me see what he rolls first. So he. Ooh, he rolled a six. Okay. 
Uh, I also rolled a six, so it goes to the defender, sadly. All right, so can we just say that with that, he kind of, like, is, yeah, I think, is standing now, facing him? Yeah, I okay. think he's facing each other Sounds now. That's, good. yeah, totally. All right, it is back to Barry's <laughs> again. All right, he's going to go, actually go around and block Snake Haunt's exit. Oh, go, go, go. Okay, I support. Um... Let's have Snake Hot roll for an attack of opportunity as yeah. Barry Thorn kind of passes him. Alright. Six. Ten. Uh, I can't beat that, <laughs> but like, you know, that was close. You know, you might as well try. <laughs> oh, 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 oh no, I got a three! Oh, Darn! Oh, no. oh yeah, okay, I was okay, so okay. close. Alright, so roll your damage, Snake Hot. Right. You gonna beat up an old man? Absolutely. Really? <laughs> okay, so that is... Nine. Okay. Oh, don't hurt my father left there. As he, like, just, I guess right there is walking, Snake Hunt just, like, trips him. <laughs> oh, no. It's okay. He makes it. He makes it. It's he fine. stumbles when he maybe catches himself, but he knocks Barry Thorne, maybe oh. fall on the head as he falls. It's okay. I'm fine. I think that makes Goji even more furious, and he's gonna lunge at Snake Hunt while he's distracted. Alright. So it's uh, a Goji's uh -oh. turn? Well, that's an oh. 8 to hit. So. 8? Oh gosh. Oh, 3. Yeah, that oh, was yeah. Goji's turn. Oh. Okay. No. It grabs, grabs, grabs very much so. Uh. Yeah. Uh. That is. 6 damage. Okay. Now it is Snake Hunt's turn. Oh wait, sorry, that's ten damage. Oh, I'm, I'm silly. Nope, you're good. Ten so damage. I was like, six seems a little low, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was like, some of his attacks seven. So yeah, I'm a little bit. Yeah. Oh goodness. Okay. Ouch. <clears throat> yeah. Get out of here. Yeah. But don't leave because I'm gonna kill you. Uh. <laughs> Snake Hunt just like hisses. Um. Uh, do you kind of like grab at his back or slash? I think he turns to claw his father, so he just grabs and sinks his teeth into his back leg. Alright. Um... Gotta go after an elder, too? Where's your honor? <laughs> I left that at the Idiot. farm that I was abandoned at, he says, just very smoothly, and is ready to... Um... You were a lost kit. You could have come back to us. Not when I was taken by the two legs. Not like you would ever understand anything like that. And with that... Because I'm capable enough to not let that happen! He's turned to they a can't. It's your turn. Oh, it is? Okay, yeah. Then he, he is, uh... Ugh, five. He, uh, I think is actually going to go again for Barry Thorn. Oh! <laughs> Fine. Well, we're only I got it. three! <laughs> oh, did he try? Oh, he definitely. Anyway. <sighs> Roll your damage, Snake Ten. Hunt. He rolled a five plus oh. five. <laughs> so he, That's with that, thing. just like claws at Barry Thorne's neck. As in... It's fine. Mm -hmm. I'm fine, son. No. <sighs> okay. Uh, with that, it is Barry Thorne's turn. Fight back, father! Yeah, he bites back. All right, yeah. Yeah. get him. Roll your dice flat. Oh, I rolled a one. Oh, I got a four. I <laughs> actually, I got a four. I'm evil. Okay, so um, <laughs> he doesn't let go. Maybe he's just like his bite. He's still holding in. Like he yeah. slams. They're like tries to push his father down a little bit as he lets go. He's like, hey, he's like it. trying to smack his nose. But it's not working. Next is Goji, and I think he's just gonna rip Snake Hot from him and just try to start pulling him backwards off of his father. Good. Rolling flat. Five. Six. Ah! So... Goji Berry. Goji Berry, no. Gurgur. Okay. Roll <laughs> down. Sorry, buddy. That's be 15 or... damage. Oh. Okay. You rolled max, 
didn't you? You're hurting a little bit? Yeah, I did. A little bit, yeah. He is, um, You're hurting? bleeding, You're um, actively. Uh, yeah, he just actively. pulls him back from his father. Alright, he, he just, like, uh, yowls as he's pulled away from the bleeding berry thorn. And is it his turn? Or... Uh, yep, yes. it is his turn. Alright, so Snake's going to, um... He's gonna try to get free, and, um, yeah, he's gonna- Or is he- is he currently, like, being grappled or just being- I think he was just attacked, right, and pulled he, back? He was just attacked. If you tried to flee at this moment, both Barrythorn and Goji would get an attack of opportunity on you. Okay, then what he's not- he's gonna do is he's not gonna move. <laughs> he's pulling yeah. out his item, his one item he has, which is a, a can okay. of kitty pet food from the barn <laughs> he's at. It does plus 7 <laughs> HP. And he's going no! to eat that. Yes. Yes. You just see this stinky right. can of food somehow we pulled out from his fur and he just stops like goblin eating it. He's like, oh, no, 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 no. Goblin oh, eating. I'm not normal. That's it. All right. Oh, no. Okay. That's Let's go. Back, Back to Barry Thorn. You got this, I buddy. another one. This is oh, no. <laughs> I'm switching the dice. World he got a three, World but he's not paying attention. He's eating, so, yeah. Oh, that's well. That makes me feel so much better <laughs> okay. about my one. <laughs> well, back to Goji. Then you're done, Ray Thorn. Um, you done? Yeah. You oh yeah. I'm okay, okay. Turn my just making sure. Just like, making sure. You're very you got him. Very you get him. <laughs> that's a six to hit Snake on. Okay. Two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he turns Sorry. around from his can of food, he looks up, and Goji's just in his face. Yeah. Uh, nine damage. Okay. Ouch. Uh, Alright, so you said nine? Mm-hmm. So, fourteen. Alright. Okay. It's his turn? Yep. He's going to try to flee! He is rolling. Fun times! He went a five. But I attack from Oh, I rolled a one. Ooh. Get back here. Barry Thorn also gets an attack of opportunity. Yes. I got a two! Alright. So. <laughs> what do you roll? Um, do I, okay, I roll. He, I roll again. You I got roll a three. again for Barry Thorn. Yep. Aw, oh, dang it. Yeah. Okay, Snake so Hawk is now on the run. Backs up, and I can pull up a running chart if. Y'all are gonna yeah. pursue. If you're just gonna let him go, uh, yeah. it's up to you guys. No, I know. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Let me. Get back here. Get back here. Get back here. Grabby hands. You just keep it. No, no, no. Grabby hands. Grabby hands. Howdy. You see, Snake Hunt is now booking it across the field. He's realized this is a battle not worth fighting anymore. I run. Go, old boy. Go. Four. Run like the wind. I got four. Alright, what did Snake Hunt roll four. for? Um, Just let me. The three. I know. So Eight. he was already two uh, ahead. So does he go four, and then now you're right up on him? Like you're 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 a little. So if you go three, yes. go three right now. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. One, two, and three. then, and then he'll go four. So he's I think one behind you. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So we'll say you are booking it and you are catching up to Snake On. He is like just sighing and shaking his head and wish this old man would stop it. <laughs> he will not stop. Goji is also pursuing. He also got a three. Okay. One. He's, he's lagging behind, kind of shaking off the adrenaline and is running after. It is Snake Haunt. Alright. Four. Okay. One, two. Better not get away, four. sir. Okay. Roll. It's back to Barry. Three! Oh. I'm doing good so far for the only, only. Yeah, you still see him. Okay, but he is uh, booking it. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on, Goji. Five. Rolled bad, Snake. Rolled bad. 
You guys uh -oh. are right, right on oh. his tail. He is uh, looking back. Okay. Here I go. I'm rolling my flat. Two. So oh, okay. he's. Oh, uh, he's barely there. One, two. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. You have a chance. Yeah. Oh, Barry, get him. I rolled a two. <laughs> oh, all right, Barry. All right, one, two. Okay. I'll see him. I'll see him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, five. Okay. One, Yay. two, three, four. All right, you stop I'll him literally in the nick of time. Okay. Okay. All right. So now we have to roll against each other because you're trying to tackle. Yes, I'm okay. grappling you. You are not escaping. Oh, I got a six. Oh, I got a Yes, okay. Yes. yes. You can't yes. move. You can't move. Wait, why can't, can't I move? Oh, oh, I get a tag of opportunity. Case? Well, okay, so you don't. It would be your, your grab round me. to move. That was yes. my round. I don't grab you, but now we're standing off. Now we're standing, together. yeah. And so Yay. now, if I run, I will get it. You can try to attack me. And if I win, yeah. then I flee. So, I uh, am going to try to roll to flee. You are going to get one more chance to uh -huh. try to stop me. So, I am rolling stop flat. Me. I only got a four. Eight. Okay. Oh. You stop oh, me. Rich. So, he yeah. goes to turn, um, oh, and you you okay. go in front to stop. Now, do you want to attack? It's your turn. Yeah. Roll okay. damage. I am attacking. All right. So, roll again for your damage. Wait, 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 hold on. Okay. Eleven damage. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, I so, assume I'm just gonna yes, catch you, up. Yes, you. Yeah, I was gonna say you. Actually, I'm gonna uh, let you roll right now if you want to catch up or on your what? turn. Um. So uh, after Goji, it's well, well. Yeah, we'll say you. You walk up, but you don't get to attack it's yet. Now Snake yeah. Hunt. But you see turn. Snake Hunt and your son. Um grappling uh goji are you grabbing his throat are you clawing his throat how this this blow is like i'm ruining him getting him to the ground i do okay. not want him running more so like right. kind of probably getting him to the ground and just biting into his shoulder so it's harder to run okay i think he wants to keep snake alive but he is coming with them or dying that's the only options all right Okay, so Snake is on the ground, um, and it's his turn, right? Um, he uh, yes, it is, is very turn. hurt. Um, okay, can I roll first and then decide if he's fleeing or attacking? Or no, I have to decide before. You gotta, I think you gotta decide before. Yeah, you gotta decide before. Alright. Um, <laughs> I think... In a, uh... Alright, if, if... Alright. I will say Goji kind of looks him in the eye, finally. And if his, he's just seeing red. He's so mad. But he says, If you move, you die. I think he'll take the his attack to try and, um kill Barry Thorn and he will try to attack him as he's approaching. Is Barry Thorn there? He, or is yeah. he not? You, he range? just said Barry Thorn like oh, okay, showed okay. up, so yeah. Barry yeah. Thorn's there. Yeah, he's yes, go ahead. I got a six. Oh yeah, there's no way. Yeah, that definitely hits roll damage snake. I mean I could I got a three. Oh, oh that was close. fell off. Five. Five. So it's ten. So it is ten. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I bet they All right. I'm not dead. You you're, you're <laughs> not dead, but I'm gonna say you're very hurt considering you're an elder. You've run a yeah. lot. You're out of breath. Um. He's just like you got this. Son. Yeah. Even it literally as you walk up to see and maybe help um snake in a split decision just like turns and bites at your father who just was not probably expecting to be just struck like that. Um, and... will be okay. ...is now actively <laughs> bleeding. But the wound is so deep that you don't know if it could be fixed. Um, but Barry Thorne is, like, breathing deeply and there. <laughs> and I think it's his Sorry. turn. 
legally. It is barely Thorn's turn. I like... Goji turns to him. Just get home. I've I've got this. Okay. <laughs> he like started like Quick. he's this. Oh well. Does he if he like... leaves. <laughs> I think he, uh, Snake would get another attack opportunity if he tries to leave. If he stays, but he isn't... waits. No, they are facing each other. Yeah, he's. Okay. He's being like. Just I'm go. Gonna... I've got. I think I have to wait. <laughs> 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 okay, 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 I'm just worried. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I, I think Rod uh, took an attack of opportunity. Yay. You can try. It's totally. Can you just go stand there? Maybe you just use your turn holding your blood in. Just like yeah, hold your yeah. wound. You're just holding yeah. his yeah. wound. It's a good That's idea. Yeah. Just okay. to hold wound. Suppress the injury. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Right. He holds My wound. turn now. Your turn. He died. He died. Goji looks down at Snake Hot, fury in his eyes, and I think he's just gonna grab his head and uh just shove him into the grass. I think he just wants to um suffocate him. Alright. Um, oh my gosh. Roll the four. Roll the five. Okay. Okay, roll t plus attack. Uh, alright. I think I'm actually going to structure this since it's okay. suffocation. Every time it hits Snake Const. Or he's gonna be able to um, start like fighting against it. So like mm -hmm. every round, he can roll to get out of that, and he's gonna take a damage every time. Okay. So what's the first initial just one damage? Damage. Just one hit point. It's just one. Yep. Okay. But then so... that counts as a whole round, because I, I I think it would still we'd have to go in order. So if it's only gonna do the one attack. Next time, you'd have yeah. to still contest holding him down each time, which is fair if you want. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he is at, and I think it's suffocation is in like he's not wanting to fully kill Snake Hunt, he's wanting to get him knocked out. out enough to take him back. Okay, got so. it. So, yeah, just knock him to zero, but not, fully. not all right. Full. Yeah, no, that makes sense. If you want to take each turn to very mm -hmm. carefully make sure you're doing it, that I think you can knock him and not kill him, but he will each time try to wiggle free as a like lash did because he doesn't know the all right so he is at two hit points at the moment and it is his turn so he is um his bloody face is pushed into the ground and he is clawing and just gonna try to uh get up um he rolls a three can't see okay it's flailing very violently uh he got a five so okay he misses. Um, Another since, point. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll say Barry Thorn is, is conscious enough to avoid, um, specifically because he is going after uh, Goji Berry. So, alright, that ends his turn. Okay. Uh, it's Barry Thorn next. Is he still just holding his wound? Hopefully. Yeah, he's just holding it. Sick. Like, okay. You got this, son. <laughs> I believe in you. I don't want to die, though. Okay, and then I'm gonna roll again to hold, keep him steady, holding him down. Okay, uh, what do you roll? That's a five. Six. Oh. Okay, so you, I think Snake On just raises his head and takes a, a very sharp gasp of air. Okay. Now it's his turn. Gonna take, yeah, it's a, his turn. Another six. To hit who? He just, Goji? um, I think he's flailing, and at this point, it's, like, whoever he can. Um, if he was able to get a breath and look, then, like, I think he would go for Barry Thorn, actually. If he sees him just kind of, like, struggling, oh, he'll try to kick. Mm. Or swipe, or however he can. Okay, roll damage then if it's yeah, a six. Yeah, if it's a six, yeah. <laughs> Ten. I'm at one hit point, baby! Ooh! Okay, okay, you okay, okay. Down it's... together. You he got misses. to murder him now! <laughs> I hate this turn order! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I hate this turn order, because if you walk away, he's gonna get an attack of duty, and I can't grapple him, so he can't get an opportunity. You can let me go. This is, this is let me go. No. no! Let me go. You're I won't terrible. kill your father. Is it my turn? 
Yes, it is your turn. If you I'm gonna lose, knock him. Okay, bring it, bring, bring it, it, old man. No, 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 no. bring it. Yee. What do you get? What you do? I got a four. I got a one. <laughs> no. You are I so tried. losing blood so fast you can barely hold yourself up. You That's... truly begin to see memories of your wife. You see your two sons. You see Pumpkin Curse, your first daughter. You see all your grandkids um, before you as your your vision just gets woozy and it's hard for you to just I'm, get up. I think I've got to sit here for a minute. Yeah. That sounds good. Okay, your turn. Goji's starting to panic and he's just, I think, just his blunt um, force just smash his head into Snake Hon's head to knock him out. Okay. I'm gonna... Uh, seven. Yeah. Uh, so, I'll just roll damage for both of us for that because I just smashed my head over here. It is a nine points of damage. Snake Hunt is knocked out. Not... Yeah, I assume it's not lethal. If you yeah, don't want it to not. be lethal. I don't want it to be lethal. Right. I want to bring him. Uh... So you, you uh, headbutt into Snake Hunt and he just like, with that, immediately lights out and falls. But your father, unfortunately, doesn't look good. The walk back yeah. might even be too much for him. Earthorn? He just immediately mm. kind of runs over to support his dad. Uh, you okay? No. No, I'm not. Uh. You did great. You you did real good. Uh. Just hold on, just a second. He just... Uh, he's starting to panic, but at this point, he's just trying to Hold him steady. I'm just proud. just come home. We'll we'll get you better. I I'm proud to call you my son. You know that. You have wonderful grandkit. I have wonderful grandkits, and you have wonderful. Stop children. saying that. We, we're gonna get you home. I I don't know if we'll be able to make it. His. Jaw just clenches. With that, you actually hear um, a familiar voice, and it is uh, Goose Juice. Um, he approaches and is just like, Ugh. "Dad, Goji, I, I heard what happened in camp. Is he?" He looks over at the snake haunt, but just shakes his head and goes over to his father. Ugh. It was just... Did he it's... do this to you? Yeah. It's okay. I was here helping. Go Jeeper. It's okay. This... This is okay place to die. With both my sons by my side. This is good. I'm proud to have been your father. We'll miss you, Dad. He just like wraps his big fluffy tail around him. You'll be okay. I know you will. Take care of those kids, will ya? Of course. Reason to be strong like you. That's good. We'll tell mom you love her. I know she knows. Yeah. I only wish I could have told her one last time. And with that, I think Barry Thorne will just kind of curl up next to the closest bundle of flowers and just pass very not necessarily peacefully, but as peacefully as you can, given that snake haunt is down and it's finally kind of quiet and you can just hear the birds and stuff. And uh, 
since he was aligned, though, he actually does get to make um, saving throws. So as he kind of his light goes out, you see um, some of his family uh, come in the version of Celestial Cats. So uh, Echo, will you roll against uh, good old Barry Thorn here? And I roll, I assume. Oh yeah, yeah, actually you can, or I can roll against. Uh, I forgot. Yeah, you can roll for Barry Thorn. Okay, cool. And uh, all right, I got a fifteen. Okay, so one for you. I'll write that down. One for Celestial, as they uh, That's kind a of fourteen. Yeah. All right. So, oh, you got a fifteen. Was the first? Oh yeah, you got a. Yeah, 15, 15 was and 14, one. perfect. Okay, so you, the Celestial Cats, boom, boom, they 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 win the first round as you this see your ancestors. And, uh, all right, second round. It happened to be a two. Two. Uh, but I can do a re-roll, correct? Yeah, you can do one re-roll because you're, you're aligned. Okay. Polo also got a two. Oh, well, I re-rolled to be 12, so. Perfect. Cool. All right, and uh, so pretty much with that, since you've gotten two, it's it's two out of three. Um, you were a good cat in your life, um, and so they offer you the chance to either come back or to be taken. But I think that you know that your wounds are so deep that even if you did get one chance to walk back, it would. You're tired, and so you just. You know, let them take you, and uh, that is that is all for Barry Thorn. As uh, you guys just kind of see, actually, the Celestial Cats take him, and you you kind of see him go up as they fade, and the snake haunts bodies there that I assume after one of you guys will take. That rest the there for a while, just resting his sh head on his father's shoulders, just kind of staring off into space. Okay. I imagine um, Barry Thorn is there watching them, and, and eventually, I don't know if this is possible because I don't know how celestial cats work, but I imagine he visits everyone that he that he knew in life and loved and says one final goodbye. Yeah, he can uh, definitely have a chance. He was, he was a good guy. Uh, I'll do a, a better, probably, like, ending in the future for Barry Thorne. <laughs>